I mean, that happens all the time. Like it happens so many times, I think, in this process that it's hard to point just one thing out. I remember us looking at like um, uh, some of the test results where we had the actual full 3D render of the, the heroes and then versus like just panels and like artistic shots of shots of them and we like tested those out and people really like the 3D um, heroes on the screen were like, ah, I wonder if we can even do that, <laughs> you know, with just like one engineer. And then over Thanksgiving break, he was just like, I think I can put that together. And then, you know, it, it looked a mess, but, you know, at the, the beginning of like not knowing if you can do something and then, and then just kind of going on a side project and figuring it out in the weekend um, over a holiday, <laughs> you know, is, uh, that, was, that was really one of the, the surprising things. Cause then like we only had what, like a week after that to put everything together. And I think everything came together really well in the last day and for the people that have played it the game before then and then played it with the, the new ui that's the really short turnaround that happened to get it into the game it was like a matter of days um from figuring out that we could do one thing um finding that the user like the anyone that's playing the game like really wanted to see it this way and then adding the functionality and tying everything to it and the short amount of days after everyone rallied like yeah the players really want this. Let's really try to make it happen. Um, this is this seems like the 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 best thing that we can do for them. And and there's so many pieces of like things like that where you know from our side, you know, we're creating right. We're like thinking of things and having ideas and then seeing what we can do. And then the, the engineers will make those things a reality, or they'll say like, "You want that, but that's going to take a lot of time." <laughs> um, and so it's a matter of you know, when they say like, that might be possible this way um, if we do a certain amount of things and then figuring out how to get it into the game. I think a lot of that is lost in what you see at the end product of like how difficult, like the, the and how complex the problems are of like something that you would consider like, oh, it just seems simple. We'll just put this in. Like, there's no simple thing in the game. It's a matter of how clever kind of the engineer can be or how clever, clever the design can be. In kind of solving. I guess that's the game within the game. There were a lot of, for me, um, like aha moments, like um, th that's sort of, the, that was like the benefit of working with Vin, like one-on-one -on -one all the time was just like whole, like, you know, different perspective, you know, that was super logical um, versus mine. So, so I was always like, you know, um, not surprised, but like enlightened with a different perspective. That was that was great for me. Um, but as as far as like anecdotes, I have to think about it. Like I was thinking about um, some of the player feedbacks that we were getting uh, when we did the user testing for the for the um, aesthetics for the new UI, and just sort of like how the demographic was broken down. You know, male, female, what kind of gamers they were. Um, like that 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 test itself wasn't surprising to me but I was it made me more curious about people you know and psychology you know and and helped me like think about things like motivation um for um the UI like why people play a game a certain way or what's going to keep them in the game um so yeah there was that aspect you know where before I think we tend to just kind of like have a target demographic and make assumptions about how that person is going to be playing the game. You know, like, well, they play this game and they're male. So, you know, equals this, <laughs> they must like certain things. Whereas now we know that it's like, it's beyond, it, there's more to it, to a human, you know, playing a game than that. There's like so many aspects, right? Like you know, where they're from, how they grew up, their environment, their current status, you know, um, employed, not employed, student. I mean, there's like a huge range. So um, that sort of like idea that any one of these people, you know, can play this game or game and love it was just like, hmm, you know, um, I don't know. It just made me curious about what that common ground would be, you know, you know, how, what, what, what we can gather from these, um, from these people um and how it's going to appeal to them universally 